up and sing. Story by Jane Yolen, illustrated by Ellen Sheep. Frogs love green. Green water, green lily pads, green leaves. Green. But autumn had come to the pond, turning everything red and gold. To little frog, red and gold were scary. They were the colors of hot sun and cold blood. She sat on a green lily pad and contemplated the trees. Half of them were now yellow. Two of them were orange. One was bright red. All the rest were still green. So, she had never seen such a thing before. Well, she was only a little frog and it was her first fall. Little frog shuddered. Mama frog jumped up next to her, which made the lily pad sway. Little frog usually loved such swaying, but she was still shuddering. So the lily pad shuddered too. Be brave, little frog, said Mama Frog. Most things that are scary are only just new. You need to see what they are all about. Listen to their voices. Once you know them, they aren't scary anymore. That was certainly puzzling. Little Frog herself was pretty new. And she wasn't scary, but she always listened to Mama Frog. So that day in early October, Little Frog decided to try to be brave and see what red and gold were all about and orange. She hopped back into the water, dark green water, and began to swim. Her heart was going bumpity bump as she did the backstroke and the side stroke and some frog paddling too. But she made it to the shore. Brave little frog. She stuck one toe onto the brown dirt. After green, little frog loved brown the best. Brown is soft and comfortable and familiar. She took one step and another and another. Though now her heart was going bumpity bump, thumpity thump. Brave, brave little frog. Then little frog hopped a bit down the twisty path, going towards the wood, the wood that was so full of red and gold and orange. She wasn't sure about orange. Brave, brave, brave little frog. Suddenly, a wind whooshed through the trees. Leaves began to run down. Red leaves, yellow leaves, orange leaves, scary leaves and scary colors, making a scratchy, scratchy noise. Little frog hopped this way, ran that way, spun about, fell down, ran again. She wasn't being very brave now. By the time she stopped hopping, running, spinning, and falling down, Little Frog was lost, horribly, miserably, totally lost. Besides her right leg hurt, there was a little scrape on her knee and a spot of red blood. She shuddered again. Suddenly, she wasn't so sure about red. It was dark in the woods except for those patches of red and gold, and orange, and purple as well. She was absolutely not sure about purple. Strange sounds came from everywhere. Scary sounds. Red came Little Frog didn't feel very brave anymore. All she felt was scared. 
But then Little Frog listened more closely, just as Mama Frog had told her to. That was the voice of the wind through leaves. That was the voice of a squirrel up a tree. That was the voice Papa Frog used in the spring. All friendly sounds she knew. But everything was strange indeed because it wasn't spring. It was autumn and autumn was scary. Little Frog looked for the sound. And there, sitting on the top of a huge pile of red and gold and orange and, yes, even purple leaves, was Papa Frog himself singing his spring song, even though it was a scary autumn day. Come up, come up, sang Papa Frog. Think of the leaves as a lily pad. Well, they didn't look like a lily pad. They weren't the color of a lily pad. But Little Frog tried to imagine them that way. She climbed up the pile, thinking green, 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 all the way to the top. Even though the red and gold and orange and purple leaves were scratchy, scratchy underfoot. Then she sat down by Papa Frog, right on top of the leaves, as if that pile was really a lily pad. There! Boom, Papa Frog! That wasn't so bad, now was it? For a while, Little Frog thought how bad it was. Then she thought how the leaves were actually crispy. How they were gold like rising sun, orange like the sky at dawn, and red like the sky at sunset. She still wasn't sure about purple. She thought about how autumn leaves made a tickly sound in the wind. They weren't scary at all, only new. Papa Frog was right. Mama Frog was right. Not so bad. She said to Papa Frog, Not the red and orange and gold, he said. She noticed he didn't mention purple. Then Little Frog and Papa Frog slid down the pile together with red and gold and orange and even purple leaves sliding down all around them. It was so much fun. Little Frog climbed up and slid down again and again. Red and gold and orange are not scary at all, said Little Frog. Not when you really get to know them. Papa Frog looked at the pile again. And purples, not scary either, he said. Only new. Last, arm in arm, Little Frog and Papa Frog happily hopped and danced all the way home to the pond where Mama Frog had made a fresh shoe fly pie for dinner, something all three of them knew well. It was still hot, just the way they liked it best, and even better, inside it was all green.